In today's video, I'm gonna discuss how committing to your golf shot is gonna help you hit longer, straighter golf shots. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all about committing to your golf shot. Now, this sounds quite simple, but I get so many golfers who are actually thinking about the bad things and where they don't want to go rather than focusing on actually what they're trying to achieve from it. And I also hear often, oh, I need to swing it slow to hit the ball more accurately or hit the ball straighter. Now there's something to be said about having a good rhythm, that we don't want to snatch the golf club perhaps from the top of the swing, but slowing it down won't necessarily, at impact, help us hit better golf shots. You know, yes, if I walk around the golf course just making a little half swing, I'm probably going to hit the ball very straight because I'm not hitting the ball far enough to go that far off line, but it's going to take me a lot longer to get to the green, get, to the, uh, get the ball into the hole. So we've got to commit to our golf shot. And actually, I went through a, a poor period with a driver in my hand. I had a, a good year and a half where I really struggled hitting a lot of fairways and it made my rest of my game very sharp. My up and down skills were very, very good, but I struggled off the tee. And I just found that hitting the ball actually a bit more committed for me, feeling harder, actually helped me hit it straighter as well. So I, I don't want that steering movement down the fairway. I want it to be a free flowing movement. You look at those tour players, and yes, they're hitting thousands of golf balls and hours and hours and hours of practice, but they're not, you know, at 60, 70%. Often, you know, 80, 90, sometimes even 100% out their socks. You know, look at someone like a Bryson DeChambeau. I know he's, he's done a lot of things uh, to try and build up some muscle mass and hit the ball further. He's hitting the ball longer and he's actually hitting more fairways than he was before. So yes, it may be an improvement in method and technique, but also it hasn't robbed him of accuracy by gaining some distance. And that's what a lot of golfers worry about. And for me, I don't find that. As I said, we don't want to be hitting it hard from here in a poor sequence. Of course we don't, but we want to develop speed and commitment through the golf ball. And for me, I just find too many golfers, and as I said, I had this period of trying to steer the ball down the fairway. So let's really focus on what we're trying to achieve. This tee's a bit high, but uh, annoyingly, I haven't got any wooden tee pegs in the, in the carry bag. So what we wanna do is pick something that we're actually trying to focus on here. Now, uh, this isn't a tee shot I'd normally hit driver on, but I'm, I'm filming out on our 17th tee. It's a relatively tight drive, especially at the driving distance. So I've got to almost hug that right-hand side. And there's a tree up between the greenside bunker and the cart path that again is up by the green that is going to be my focus point. And I'm going to be pinpointing a specific spot, you know, on that tree that I'm trying to aim for. So it's miles in the distance, not something I'm necessarily going to be reaching, but something I want to look for. Negative golfers or golfers getting worried about their drive are focusing on the trees, the water, the rough, whatever it might be, out of bounds. We really want to focus on what we're trying to achieve from it. Yes, we can't always hit every fairway and every green, but let's be committed in it. You know, and if we do hit the ball offline, at least we're a bit further down there and offline. Yes, we've got to be in the boundaries of the golf course. But as I said, for me, slowing it down, not committing to the shop tends to feel like I'm steering the ball and I hit it more offline so let's go with committing to the golf shot so behind the golf ball and i'm practicing looking and imagining the ball flight that i want to hit at that tree that i've picked and it could be anything in the distance it can be miles away from you but something that we can really focus on and my routine is all about picturing the shot that i want to hit at my aim point so it's just down the right half of the fairway no doubts in my mind. So we're not going to spend a lot of time stood statically over the ball. We're going to have a long look at where we're going to hit it and then we're going to commit. It was a nice high launch. It's actually a pretty good golf shot. It caught a couple of the tree branches which took, um, sorry, not branches, a couple of the leaves uh, which overhang here on the right side of the tee. But it was actually a, a well committed golf shot and it's drawn back towards the fairway, even though it started a little bit further right than I wanted, but I really felt like I committed to it and I've hit the fairway. So, you know, let's, let's go through the routine, even on those tight holes that you don't like. It might be that you choose sensible club choices, 
but you go committed at them. So I'm not saying we're hitting driver everywhere. On this hole, I'd normally hit more of a three iron because it leaves me perhaps a nine iron in. Drive, yes, I can leave more of a, a shorter club in, you know, half a wedge, but it's actually getting a little narrow at the area. But I'm, I'm hitting this because perhaps this is the club that we're talking about hitting often off the tee that we really want that commitment to. So again, my focus, my routine is where I'm trying to aim this golf shot, where I'm trying to hit it, I'm picturing the golf shot. And I'm feeling very committed. It's not a poor sequence. It's not that I'm lunging for it with my upper body, but I'm very committed through impact. I'm not steering the ball down the fairway. So less time stood statically, more perhaps picturing the shot behind the golf ball. Look at where we're going to hit it. And that is two for two. So just down that right half of the fairway, probably at the right half of the tree, what, two, three yards right of where I was perhaps going to try and aim it. So I hit that and it felt very committed for me. I'm not the quickest swinger out there. I'm about 105 mile an hour, club head speed with a driver. Um, but I felt like I gave that everything. I didn't feel like I was leaving something behind. It wasn't a rush from the top, but it was very committed through the strike. And if you're struggling off the tee, and it, it may not be the driver, it might just be even be into the iron play, pick exact targets, focus on that, try and pitch the shot, spend more time behind the golf ball, less stood statically here, and commit to the golf shot. Don't go half-assed at it. Really focus on your target point and go committed. If this video has helped you hit a few more fairways, hit a few more greens, please hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new to it.